G'day, my name's Jim Thompson. Along with my uncle, Tom Thompson, I intend to take you on a journey of discovery on our name, Thompson. And that story starts a long way from here. question on where our surname Thompson originated. It actually started as the name McTavish and it's been anglicised to Thompson. And where it actually originated is right here. Welcome to Dunardbury on the Crinning Canal in Argyll, Scotland. Unfortunately, our McTavish Castle is in a ruined state and it's also underwater over there on the other side in that lock. Well even though they, they drowned the castle, this uh, we assume is what's left of the servants quarters. Or was it the butler or the coachman? I'm not sure. But anyhow the castle's under the water. The reason why our McTavish castle ruins are underwater over here it's because it's actually been used in that little area there as a reservoir to fill the locks of the Crinan Canal, which you can see behind me. That goes from on the other side there, at Crinan, all the way through these lands, across the, to Block Gilp Head. And that was, that was actually built 200 years ago. It's quite a feat for that time period. And it's a series of locks, all the opening gates and we believe that they've worked with tides and probably rainfall off the mountains to allow for the boating or the small shipping to go through to save the rough journey around the Mole of Kintyre. But this is in fact the McTavish come Thompson lands. And here they are. Look what they've done to our backyard. Anyhow, I want to make the point, this tartan is the Clan McTavish Thompson Blue Tartan. Great stuff, isn't it? You like it? At the moment we're standing on top of the highest point on the McTavish lands. What the Clan McTavish slogan or war cry is Cruach Moor, which means high tall stack. It's the, as I say, it's the highest point here in Dunardry, uh, being at 820 metres. In all of this I have found out that our surname Thompson is one of hundreds of variants names stemming from the original Gaelic name McTavish. With the changing of the Gaelic to English in the mid-1600s, the original Gaelic spelling is quite different from the slightly anglicised spelling that it is now. Mac means son of, and Tavish means Thomas. So with the fully anglicised name Thompson, you have Thomas's son, as opposed to son of Thomas, with the name McTavish. I started researching a Thompson name in 1998. What I've found over the past three years has been far more eye-opening than I could have ever imagined. First, as I said before, our Thompson name was not a common name until the 17th century in Ireland and was of Scottish origin. Now at this stage we do not know exactly where and when our ancestors came from Scotland to Ireland. They may have, e have been either Lowland Scots or Highland Scots, but what I am sure of is their ancestry did originate as Highland Scots in Argyll. They may have first migrated to Northern England as our name is also very common there. I hadn't realised until I'd arrived uh, in this area that there really was so much um, beauty to the countryside. I mean you often hear of the, of the highlands being a, a picturesque and beautiful place and obviously also in turn a rugged place and you can see both of that in the same view. But uh, 
I think really what really is awe inspiring is just the highland scenery with its mountains and the lakes that reside around them with the locks and so forth. Do I have a sense of belonging in this place? I'd have to say very much so. Uh, especially since having looked over the history over the last few years to find that uh, just where the roots really do stem from, it does have that much more meaning to it. This is Castle Sween of the Clan McSween. It's a, basically the maternal side to our first McTavish. The first McTavish was Torsh Call. He was the son of, a, of an Oduan chief by the name of Colin Oduan of Lockow. The name of his mother is unknown, but she was the daughter of Sween the Red of the clan McSween. Colin Oduan was known as Colin Mayo Maith, meaning good bold Colin. Colin Mayo Maith had been previously married to a niece of King Alexander I by whom he had one son named Gillespie. Upon her death, he married Sween's daughter from Castle Sween around 1105 to 1107 AD. They had two sons, Torsh Kaur and his brother Ivor Crom. Ivor, Ivor was the forebear to Claire MacIver. The original Gaelic name for McTavish existed as a separate entity, having broken off from Clan O'Doan around 1140 to 1200 most likely the lifetime of Torch Core. Clan O'Doan had originally come from the region of Ulster in Northern Ireland and are also distantly related to Clan O'Neill. On the McTavish lands are two carved hands in rock and they have a history related to the Scottish Dariotic Kings. Not much is known about why these hands were carved in rock. What we do know is that these kings in Dariata had a symbolic reason for them. These hands may well have been a form of ancient legal binding such as a hand fasting, the old process of marriage. Since these kings were Celts in origin from Northern Ireland, I can only guess that it may have some connection to the Red Hand of Ulster a very old legend that is quite different. And with the, the Red Hand of Ulster, of course, it was a, a very different story in that it was about two uh, kings that were fighting for land and instead of actually shedding blood, they actually rode, rode a race across water. And as one, being an O'Neill, was nearly to be defeated as he was lagging just behind, he cut off his hand after drawing his sword and threw the severed hand across to the land. And there, of course, started the, the legend of the Red Hand of Ulster. <laughs> 